Hey guys, Juice here. I am here to film a new video for you guys today. Today is Saturday, January 2nd. It is the new year. So happy new year. Yay. I'm not going to film my December wrap up tonight, even though I should. Uh, this is my December wrap up right here. So you guys get a sneak peek to next week's video or next video coming up. Today I am here with my December book haul and I have two stacks of books here right next to me. Uh, I got quite a lot of books to talk to you today about. Um, I tried filming this twice. Each time I filmed it, I tried to film it with my ring light on and the lighting just kept getting worse and worse every time I filmed. So I'm trying this without my ring light and seeing how it goes. So basically we're back to our normal styles, except this time I'm facing, you guys are facing my bookshelf instead of I'm facing you guys, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I got a lot of books this month. It's the last book haul of 2020 for me. And January is also another exciting book haul. Um, one of these I've read, a few of these I've read. And hopefully I grabbed all the books this time because each time I try to film this, I keep forgetting some books to grab. Um, so yeah, let's just get started without further ado. I don't know how many books are in this book haul. Just let's just get started. Um, the first book I am very excited for, this was in the November Owl Crate, but I don't, I don't think I, f uh, put it in my November book haul, and that is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. This is Ashley Poston's newest novel, and just look at this gorgeous cover. The spine is all, like, gold and black, and the back has all the praises on it. Also, these sprayed edges, we love them. And so I also forgot to show off in my unboxing that there's art underneath the dust jacket. Look at that, it's just so pretty. I am real excited to read this. I'm actually gonna film my January TBR this weekend too. I, um, this is gonna be on my January TBR because I am hoping to buddy read Among the Beasts and Briars this month with my friend um, Libby, who has a booktube channel here, which I'll leave down below. You guys should definitely go check her out. But yeah, I'm so excited to buddy read this and just look at this gorgeous cover. Next book is a book I actually just read. I finished this yesterday. I started this on New Year's Eve and I finished this yesterday on New Year's and that is How the King of Elfham Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is the novella part of the Folk of the Air trilogy and I was really happy to get an Owl Crate exclusive edition. Let me turn this on real quick. There we go. Just to get a little bit of light so you can see the cover. Um, this is the novella from Cardin's point of view, all about Cardin and Jude and this takes place after Queen of, or in between Queen of Nothing and after Wicked King, I believe. Um, and I read this, I listened to it via audiobook, and I love the narrator. She kept me involved and kept me turning the pages. This is definitely going to be one of the shorter books that I read this month for the month of January. Because um, I'm currently reading a 700 page fantasy book right now. What will it be? I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I'll talk more about this either in a January wrap up or a recent reads video. I haven't decided what I want to do with that this year, but definitely really enjoyed this one and so happy that I bought it. Uh, the next book I just recently got this past week and, um, it was also another Owl Crate exclusive edition and that is A Universes of Wishes by Danielle Clayton. This is part of the We Need Diverse books club type of thing company I don't know what it's called um this is a very beautiful edition as well like just beautiful and then once you open it up look at that end pages are gorgeous and there's a ribbon bookmark I am just real excited to read this it's one of my most anxious it was one of my most anticipated reads of 2020 and I just never got around to it because, of course, this came out in December. So this is one of the new releases that I haven't read yet. But I know I will want to in the year 2021. So hopefully I'll read it in either January or whenever I feel like I want to read it. But A Universe of Wishes is the next book I'm hauling in this video. 
next book I have is the December pick for Owl Cree, and that was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I am really excited that this was in the box. Look how pretty this looks. Look at the spine. Look at the back. Everything about this book is just super pretty. Also, if you take the dust jacket off, look at this. It just looks like a fantasy book, doesn't it? <laughs> I am so excited for this one. I'm probably going to read this next after my big fat fantasy book I'm reading. Also look at this art art work on the dust jacket if I can speak tonight. Um, I am real excited to read this because my friend Charlie and I, we made a book club called Queer Book Club or no, Queer Reads Book Club. And even though this book doesn't have any LGBT characters in it, um, I probably didn't even told you what the Among the Beasts and Briars and Universes of Wishes is about. But this one is Shanghai, set in Shanghai, 1926, Romeo and Juliet retelling with some rivalry gangs, some monsters, some witches, and magic and just amazing characters is what I hear. And like, I hear this is a good debut novel and I'm real excited for that. Um, but like I keep saying, Queer Reads Book Club is coming to you this year and this is going to be the book club pick for the month of January and I'm so excited to be one of the co-hosts and just hopefully read it this month because I've been dying to read it ever since I got my book of the month copy. Um, I'm giving that copy away to my friend Taylor so hopefully Taylor can join us and we can all read this book in the month of January. I'm real excited. This is also going to be on my January TBR so looking look forward to that. And then the next book I have to haul is one that I read already. I read this in the month of December, so this will be in my December wrap-up. And that is The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. This is Karen M. McManus' newest novel. This one just came out this month on the 1st. I really enjoyed it. I'll talk more about this in my December wrap-up. Um, it was a perfect YA mystery thriller that I wanted at the time, and I fell in love with this book. I listened to it via audiobook. It was really amazing. I believe it was one narrator the whole time, or it was two, but um, we follow f three main characters who are all cousins. There's Millie, Audrey, and Jonah, and if you know Karen M. McManus writing, you know something bad is going to happen. There's always multiple point, point of views from her books. This one is definitely my favorite. I think this is like my second favorite by her. Um, but yeah, I'll talk more about this in my December wrap up and hopefully I'll have a better explanation of what the story is about. But I really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars and I just was so happy that I got this book for Christmas. So thank you to my aunt. She got me this book for Christmas. So I was super excited when I opened up that Amazon box. Um, but yeah, real happy I read this and now I can return my library copy, which you can kind of see over here. It's in this stack right here. Um, but yeah, I have a physical copy and I was so happy I did because I enjoyed it a lot. And I'm hoping I will love Karen M. McManus' newest book coming out sometimes in 2021. I don't know if there's an exact release date for it, but it's called You'll Be the Death of Me, which sounds like a horror movie in itself. But uh, I am just falling in love with Karen M. McManus, and I think she might be an autobody author by now. The next book I got, I got from my aunt, from my aunt for Christmas, and that is Holopox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is Jessica Townsend's third novel that she put out. This is also obviously the third book in the Nevermore trilogy. Um, I hear this is going to be like a nine book series, I hear, but she hasn't, the author hasn't really confirmed it at all. Not that I know to my own knowledge. Um, I read book one when it first came out in 2018 and I read book two uh, this year actually. I actually reread book one this year again just to get a refresher on it and then I jumped into book two and now I can reread or now I can read Holopox for the first time this month and this is one of my other most anticipated read of 2020. Um, this one was supposed to come out back in like February or March in February or March but it got pushed back and it kept getting pushed back 
and we finally have it and I'm so excited and hopefully I will love this one as much as I love the first two books in this trilogy. Um, where do we want to go from there? I'm going to go with this deck because these three, the next three books are part of the same series and that is the for, uh, three books in the Ember Quartet series by Saba Tahir. Look at these finds. So we have A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, the second book in the Ember Quartet series. Look at this gorgeous. I'm real happy that I bought this. I bought this book for myself. I did a mini like, un I did an unboxing and a mini unboxing of this and I'll leave that video down below. I showed off my excitement for that. Uh, for this series down below and I'm just real happy that I have a copy of this because this is definitely a reread for me this past year but I recently fell in love with it all over again so now I'm gonna set this one down so now I can finally read A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir the third installment in the Emmert Quartet series and the finale a Sky Beyond Storm by Sabatier. Obviously, these are all by Sabatier. I don't know why I keep saying the author's name. Um, this has quickly became a favorite series of mine. And look at these matching covers. I am so excited. These are also on my January TBR because I want to wrap this series up in the very beginning of 2021 and kick this year off with a bang. Um, I won't talk much about these because these are sequels obviously but a sky beyond storm just came out this month and everyone has been reading it and everyone's been making reading vlogs and i'm like okay i'll jump on the bandwagon um i will be reading a reaper at the gates this month for the first time and then reading sky beyond storm for the first time and I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't want my favorite series to end, but I've been hearing nothing but amazing things for this, and I can't wait to read them in the month of January. Hopefully, they'll be read in the month of January. If not, I just want to at least read the third book in January, because I need to get caught up in my Emperor Buddy Read read-along that we have going on. So, yeah, that's why I got these. So, the next book I got... I got as a someone was unhauling it. Let me actually show you the other two books that they sent my way. So one of my good friend Jocelyn, I believe is her name, she gave me um, three books for $10 and I was very shocked by how much it was. These are three books that I've been wanting for quite a while. I read one of them already, so one of them is going to be a reread for me this year, and then I will read its sequel. And so I have, let me show you, <laughs> I have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney, and The Brightest by Helen Huang. As you can tell, these two are by the same author, and I am a real excited to read these. These are adult romance novel. I already read The Kiss Quotient. I read this for the first time it came out, and I wasn't a big fan of it at the time, but now that I know what romance, what the romance section is all about, I will uh, love it more this time around, I think, because I read Well Met, or Well Met this year and really loved it, so um, hopefully I'll love these two. And like, this is a hardcover and this is paperback. And also sometimes I lie is a hardcover too. So I got these for like $10 in a little like bind up type of deal from my friend Jocelyn. So thank you so much, Jocelyn. I'm so excited. These are adult romances, which is another genre that I wanted to read more of in 2021. And I also want to read more adult thrillers. And sometimes I lie deals with a wife being cheated on or something like that. And it says, my name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things you should know about me. I am in a coma, but my husband doesn't love me anymore, and sometimes I lie. Those is what it says on the dust jacket. I'm real excited to read this. I know nothing much about this book except those three like sentences. So also it's a short like a mystery thriller book. So real excited for that. And thank you, Jocelyn, for sending me your copies. And I totally just hit myself in the face with books. But that's okay i'm used to it right now um but yeah i love it when people unhaul stuff because now i just get to add these in my collection and hopefully i love each of these books oh 
no, I ran out of room. I ran out of room. Oh, well, I'll start a stack right here. Um, the next book I got, I got as my December book of the month pick. I didn't really love all the options for December until I saw this. And I remember I was anticipating this book for January. This book isn't even out yet. I believe it comes out on the 12th or it comes out on the 19th. Um, I can't remember exactly, but it comes out mid-January. And then is The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. This is Rachel Hawkins' debut novel for adult thriller novel. Um, this is a Jane Eyre retelling. And I haven't read Jane Eyre, so I don't know if I need to read that first in order to enjoy this book. But I definitely am super excited for this. Not only because it was an early release that I got from Book of the Month and it's in hardcover. Um, but I also... And it's just hear amazing things about Rachel Hawkins writing. I read the Rebel Bell trilogy by her, which is her young adult series, and I really enjoyed those. Those aren't like my favorite trilogy as like a favorite series overall, but like I still enjoy her writing. So I'm definitely excited to see what she has in store for this one. And also, if you guys haven't heard, Gabby from Gabby Reads is hosting a book club called The Book Troop. And this is the book club pick for January. So if you want to join them, I'll leave all of Gabby's channel down below in the video that you can check out from her about her book club down below as well. So that's another reason why I got this one this month. And I'm really excited to read more mystery thrillers in the year of 2021. 2021. Wow, I cannot speak fast. Um, <laughs> the next book I got, I was a Christmas present for my aunt. And that is... Super Fake Love Song by David Yoon. I am so excited for this book. This is David Yoon's sophomore novel that he released. He's the author of Frank Galeen Love, which I read last year and really, really loved. Um, I gave it like five stars and I'm so excited to read this one. This one sounds super good. It is like live action role playing and a, you haven't seen the finished edition of it. There's a beautiful map inside and there's no contemporary book that has a map inside. So he's like the first author to do that with the exception of like the Simon Snow series. But I am so excited to read this. This was one of my most anticipated read of 2020 and this came out in November. So that's why I haven't owned this book yet myself. But once I sent a couple books to my aunt, I knew which one she would get and which one she wouldn't. So she got me this one and I was really excited. So once again, thank you to my aunt for getting me this for Christmas and I can't wait to read this. Might save this for February just because it's Valentine month and we just need some contemporary in our life. So real excited, another contemporary I will hopefully love just cause this cover is amazing and there's a map inside. Like who doesn't like that? Um, the next, on to our last couple of books. We have first out of the stack is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is gonna be mine and Charlie's book of the month for March for the Queer Reads book club. Um, Charlie has never read the Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy and I'm calling them out right now. They need to read this, it's such an amazing trilogy. They own all three books. I only own book one because this is this was actually one of my all time favorite series when I read it in like middle school. And I can't believe it's 10 years old. Like this is its 10th anniversary edition. Can you believe that? Um, this one, I don't remember much about this one because I read it quite a few years ago now. It says once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Um, I love that little like tagline on the back here and I really remember like binge reading the heck out of this trilogy and hopefully I'll love it as much as I loved it the first time so I'm excited to read this. I definitely won't be getting around to this though until March of this year. Sad that I have to wait for to reread this but also excited that this is one of our book club picks. Next book I got is from my good friend Ashley. She did a huge like secret Santa exchanging gifts type of thing on Instagram and I signed up for it. She was my secret Santa. I was hers. Um, I believe I was hers. Yeah. And she got me a book 
that I was not expecting, but I'm very happy I got it because it's by a new favorite author of mine, and that is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. This is Julie Kagawa's backlist title that I wanted to read for quite a while now. Um, I think this is the first book in the Blood of Aiden series. Yeah, that's what it says on the back in here. Um, I know nothing much about this except it deals with like paranormal romance type of genre and that goes back to like the twilight days which is sounds amazing because i didn't read this during the twilight era but i am definitely excited to read it now and to see if it still holds up um so thank you so much ashley i would never have picked this up if it wasn't for you and hopefully i'll read this sometimes in 2021 and then i got oh i think i forgot actually it's right here never mind I thought I forgot one more book. And then these next two books I got from a good friend of mine, I, f I think is uh, Jessica this time. And she was also unhauling books at the end of this year. And so she was unhauling Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles and Now Entering Adamsdale by Francesca Zappia. These two books are YA standalone novels, which is amazing because there's not a lot of those in the YA section. Um, Tyler Johnson was here is for fans of The Hate You Give and Dear Martin is what I hear and I love both of those books and I can't wait to dive into this. This got picked out of my TBR jar for the month of January so another book that I will be reading in the month of January. And then Now Entering Adamsville is a ghost story during a haunted house type of feel novel. Um, two very different genres as you can tell. One's a contemporary, one's like a YA mystery thriller, I think. Um, but I love this author, Francesca Zappia. I read Eliza and Her Monsters when it first came out and loved it. So I'm real excited to read this one. And hopefully I will love this one as much as I love Eliza and Her Monsters. And then I never read anything by J. Cole, so I'm really excited to discover a new author and also by a person of color because I want to diverse my reads a bit more in the year of 2021 as well. <sighs> Take a breath, everyone. Um, I And then these last two books I got from my friend Erin. She was also unhauling. A lot of people like to unhaul stuff at the end of the year, which I never did this year. But she was unhauling a couple books, and I got these books for like 10 to $20, I think it was, which is kind of expensive for me. But I wanted these two books. And also one of these books is the book club pick for Queer, queer Reads for the month of July. So in case you have this on your shelf and you're looking for an excuse to read it, you can join us for the But What Do You Read of Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is the first book in the Red Rising series. There's seven books out, I think, or there's gonna be seven books out. I believe there's four books out right now or maybe five. I can't remember how many books are out in the series currently. I just know Red Rising is like a book that I keep seeing at Barnes Noble every time I go with my friend Taylor. And I just never have like the urge, like I always had the urge to pick it up from Barnes Noble. And I just never do because of how expensive it is. And I also try to get the paperback edition, but that's also very expensive. So if you looking, if you like me and looking for an excuse to finally read the sci adult sci-fi series, um, Charlie and I are running our book club this year and we're going to be buddy reading this for the month of July. I know that's like very far out, but I am very excited to be reading this and I've just been hearing nothing but amazing things. This is definitely one of the older books here on booktube, but I'm just so happy that I finally have it in my hands and hopefully I will love this as much as I think I will. And then the last book I have to haul for the month of December is Warrior of the Wild by Teresa Levenseller. This is the like third novel from Teresa Levenseller, I believe. This is a YA standalone fantasy novel. It's also a Viking story and it has a, like a competition aspect in here. Um, that's all I know about this one and I'm just like really excited because I read uh, The Shadows Between Us, which was Teresa Levenseller's newest book that came out in 2020 and I really enjoyed that one so I can't wait to burn this one and I've been wanting to read this for quite a while. It's been on my Amazon wish list ever since I saw this beautiful cover and I was just so happy that I was able to get it. So yeah, there's that. 
um so that was the last book in this book haul thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumb up hit that subscribe button turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me in 2021 and i will be coming with you guys with a goals video next week a tbr video and a december wrap up three videos next week for you guys so stay tuned thank you so thank you guys so much for watching as you can tell i've been talking for quite a while now let me know which of these books I should read um, first, next, last, all those good things. Also, let me know which of these books you got for your December. Have you bought any of the same books? Did you got any books for Christmas? Let me know all of that info down below. And I'll talk to you guys down in the comments below. Bye.